you cow in, in milk and there's nobody waiting, then you'll think, ah, we're going to have a little downtime here. And about the time that that milker gets done, you know, you'll hit, the cows will hear that hear that air blast through the lines, cleaning the lines out. Next thing you know, here comes one back and out, walks right up and in. So, I mean, they, they know they know the noises that it makes and, and all that. So, you know, or the, like when it gets done washing it, it makes a grinding noise. You know, it's, it's dry or cleaning out the lines. Cows will hear that, they'll start walking up there because they know it's about ready to open after a wash. So they, uh, you know, they're, they're a little smarter than the guy thinks they are. <laughs> They got a whole, whole smell. They ain't gonna milk. I think she was milking like 120, 100, between 120 and 130 down in the water. Then you bring her up here and give her free access, and she peaked out at 173. So you take cows like that, you know, that's gonna be a heck of a lot easier on their udder when you can milk them out that much. Another another huge advantage I've seen is the uh, heat end cows. Um, you know, I had Iron Man, we had automatic takeoffs, but for some reason they like that manual on them automatic takeoffs. So, so I mean, teed ends were just shot. I mean, they're all scabbed up, just looked horrible. And and now we go to we go to dry treat a cow, and you actually got to squirt milk out to find the hole in the end of the teeth. I mean, they're they are just so clean now. So that's you know that'll definitely help you in the you know somatic mastitis incidents.